Rob Britton, how are you, sir? Tell me about your bike for Steamboat Gravel. Yeah, okay, so it's pretty much the same bike as I normally run for most of my gravel races. Uh, it is a Factor Ostro Gravel. Uh, it is a 56 centimeter frame. It's got the custom Coastal Wolf paint job. Uh, it's set up with GRX Di2 um, with a classified power shift rear wheel. Um, it has Easton cranks, Easton wheels. And that is finished off with Schwabi G1 RS tires in 40s. I know some people are running narrower. I like these because honestly, they're not that much slower than a smaller tire, but when you hit those rocks, they have a lot more volume. Same with the washboard, it takes off a lot of that edge. So a little bit softer and you roll a lot faster. Liners or no liners? No liners. For people who don't know how classified works, could you explain that hub? Please? It is a internal two-speed hub with an effective drop down to the same ratio as what you would normally run with a front derailleur. So I have a 50 up front. Effectively, the drop down ratio in the pack would be like having a 34. So my climbing ratio is as easy as a one-to-one -one 34, 34 chain ring. And then just as a backup, I do run a K-Edge chain watcher. Um, Though the biggest thing with classified, and a lot of people don't realize this with one buys, you need to run a very quality one by chain ring narrow wide, and chain tension with a clutch trailer is crucial. Most people don't set that up right. So yeah, I learned that last year. Um, you gotta make sure your clutch is working and you have to make sure your chain tension is correct. You can't just toss it on there and say, okay. But if you nail that, it is an incredibly effective system. And then yeah, with the, uh, I just have the insurance policy of the K-Edge for stuff like Unbound where you're going through just the craziest conditions ever and obviously I want to be at the front of the race so I can't risk that but um, yeah as it is I think it's an awesome setup and yeah it should be good hopefully for uh, for oh and then one final little thing is I got this fancy dandy little uh, bit of flare silica printed me up um, a 3D printed titanium direct mount derailleur hanger. So that's pretty slick, I think. Super slick. Speaking of insurance policies, the bottle cages, a simple but important thing. Yes, uh, they are, yeah, the silica um, titanium. They are very, very light. Actually, it's kind of scary how light they are, but uh, they work really well. Um, I was surprised actually. The only time I've dropped a bottle is when I run the really, really tall, like one liter bottles that don't really have a notch in them. And that can be solved because they're an alloy. You can just bend them down a little bit to bite just that little bit harder and then problem solved. Like, and like I say, they don't weigh anything, which is super cool to come in like, I think five or six different colors, black, silver, like, yeah. So gold or bourbon, I guess it's uh yeah, they're pretty cool. And that's yeah. And then, yeah, the last little thing, um, yeah, Silka saddlebag, two aerofan tubes, uh, multi-tool, extra plugs, um, and then Silka pump just, up. honestly, for the weight difference, I don't really care to take it off. The hassle is not really worth it to me. Um, and then, yeah, little emergency plug underneath the stem just in case things get weird. Rob Britton on the Factor Ostro Gravel that won Buzz and Waffle Ride Canada and could win Steamboat Gravel. Thank you, sir, and good luck to you. Thanks, man.